Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. This is Ashcroft, and I'm finally back with another video. So today's video is going to be a bit more different than what I usually upload on my channel. However, it's going to help a lot of developers who are out there looking for a way to generate themselves a changelog based on what they release or based on the progress they do on your GitHub project. This tool will basically create you a changelog based on the kit commits that you have done, and you will use artificial intelligence and generate the best changelog ever. It will organize it for you and everything, and trust me, it will save you a lot of time. The crazy part about all of this is that you just have to run a single command and it will literally be there for you without anything like literally you just have to run a command in command prompt and the boom there we go you have it there oh also not only you're just making this work for yourself when it uses artificial intelligence it will help to make the program better and more stable and even make it way crazier than what you think so using this tool will not only help you but it will help other people and its future stay tuned by the end of today's video so we'll learn how you can use this tool and save yourself a huge amount of time Installing Docolog is fairly simple. You have to go to the link in the description down below and click on the link and you will be ready to Docolog from Documatic AI. So in here, you should be able to see there is Docolog here and there is uh, there's getting a start right here and there's requirements that you need in order to use this basically. The first one is Python. Any version 3.8 or higher should work without any problems. And of course you have to have Git installed or GitHub desktop it doesn't necessarily doesn't really matter. Uh, but if you have GitHub desktop, then perfect. If you have Git, awesome. Uh, to check your Python version, you just have to go to your CMD and do Python V. And as you can see, I have Python 3.10.1, meaning I have Python more than 3.8 installed. If you have 3.8 exactly, that's fine too, but make sure it's not less than 3.8. Like I said, if you have Git installed as well, um, Git should work. There we go. As you can see, I have Git. But if you don't have Git installed, you have to have GitHub Desktop, obviously, because you can't clone projects without having GitHub Desktop or whatever. And then you have to have good commit messages. So the good commit messages will help this tool to make a better change log. So if whatever you're committing, make sure you send this, you send this us correctly. And even if you don't send this that much good, good, don't worry about it. It will automatically make it better for you. But please do the good practices for Git. And in case you need to ha know what are the good practices for committing, then there is a link in here. And once you click it, it will tell you how what are the good practices are, how you should do it, and etc. Anyways, if you do some normal commit messages, that should be all right too. In the git version tags, that's not really um, a big deal. But when you release something, there are version tags, I think. That's that's what it means. If you release a something particularly, you should be able to have a git version. And if, you, if this is not a requirement, this is again, these two are more like a recommendation rather than an actual requirement. But yeah, so once you have python installed all you have to do is just go to cmd and in here you should be able to do python v like i said yeah python so in the python in here you, all you have to do is just simply um doing pip install docolog and i already have it installed it's already gonna say it's already installed it's already satisfied so it's gonna install it for you and voila that's pretty much it technically and also if you face any problems then make sure to have git installed as well i'm not particularly sure if you really need git but i think it is needed so it will get the git information it needs so have git installed as well in case you don't know how to git install just do git install or whatever i'm sorry in git download it's basically here there we go download for windows download it so and yeah that's basically it so in order to generate the change log you have to first clone your project I have a project named Lazap, so I'm just gonna go to Lazap here. And I already cloned this project, and it's literally in my here. There we go, Lazap, right? I have it in already in here. And I'm also gonna remove my old change log so I can show you how it works. So as you can see, I have my index to just this this is basically a programming language. It doesn't really matter what programming language you use, it doesn't really care. Uh some sort of, but um yeah. So once you're here, go ahead and using your terminal. Where, wherever you clone this, go to that directory. So I clone it in my documents, then inside of my GitHub folder. And in case you don't wanna, you don't, you don't know what I'm doing right now, you copy this URL here and then do CD, then paste it afterwards. It will just automatically CD you to your project. So then once you're here, go ahead and do docu log. 
and it says save changelog to see users my name documents and it's in changelog.md and if i take a look at it there we go we have our changelog file right here if i double click it as you can see it's showing me everything it's showing me what are the unreleased i don't have any unreleased so it's going to show me this the added features are these library and then drag and drop functionality license md which was the the license md here there we go uh local storage um spinner animation timeout and the change log what they did what changed basically a few functions in between improve the loading of certain things this is really good this 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 uses a very strong artificial intelligence and it just makes the sentence and the wording very professionally as well um and i really like this so for your projects on github just do the set steps that I've told you to do. In case you have any, you had any problems or you couldn't do anything, go ahead and comment down below or go ahead and join to our Discord server so you will get an idea on how to do this or join to their own Discord server, not my server if you want to because their server is mainly focused on their work so they will be able to help you way better and faster at the same time too. So I will put their website under Discord server, link in the description down below. So you guys can go ahead and check it out. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It was fairly simple, right? You didn't really have to do anything hard. It was just by just doing a certain um, command here. And again, if you want to generate a new documentation, it should just generate it by running this command. It will just save it to the changelog.md and yeah that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching today's video if you liked it go down like the video subscribe to this channel and go and share this video to your friends so you will save them a lot amount of time as well at the same time too and thanks to the owner of this whole project for letting me know about it so i can share it to you guys as well have a great day guys this is dashgraph and i'm out